In this video, we show you how to make a story or speech out of an input image using Langchain and Hugging Face through a simple code in Google Collab. In our project, we will use an image captioning model to convert an image to a text caption. This caption is then used as a scenario to generate a story using a large language model or LLM. Finally, we convert our story to speech by a text to speech model. To get more information about Langchain, please see our previous videos. To write the code, first open a new notebook in Google Collab and choose a name for it. Then change the runtime type to use a GPU. The next step is to install Langchain and the Transformer package using pip. This may take a few seconds to complete. We now import several modules such as Pipeline from the Transformer package and Prompt Template, LLM Chain, and Hugging Face Hub from Langchain. We also import matplotlib so that we can load and display images. In our project, we show you how to use different models from Hugging Face within the Langchain framework. Specifically, we show you how to use a large language model or LLM with Langchain. For more information about Langchain, please see our previous videos in our channel. We next define a function to convert an image to a text using an image captioning model. This function accepts an input URL or an image file address and passes it to the image captioning model. The model is defined by this Hugging Face pipeline. We first define the pipeline type to make it an image-to-text pipeline. We next specify the name of the image captioning model. In Hugging Face, there are several image captioning models. In this example, we use this model from Salesforce. In fact, you can search for image-to-text models in Hugging Face and use any arbitrary model for this purpose. Once you choose your model, simply copy its repo ID and put it in the code. This way, we can create an image-to-text pipeline. We next pass the URL or image path to this pipeline and get the generated caption and return it as an output text. Now let's test this function. We first upload an image and pass its name to this function to get its output text. Our image in this example contains three persons standing in a scene. Now let's execute this line to see the output. For the first time that you run this code, several models are downloaded so it may take a few seconds to get the result. Okay, we got the results. As you can see, the model was able to caption the input image correctly, which is great. We will use this caption to make a scenario for our story using a large language model or LLM. To define our LLM, we use an open source LLM from Hugging Face whose name is Falcon. Specifically, we use this repo ID from Hugging Face, which provides the 7 billion parameter Falcon model. You can search Falcon in Hugging Face to get this repo ID. We next need to provide our Hugging Face access token. To get a free access token, go to the settings of your Hugging Face account and create a new token and copy and paste it. We then use Hugging Face Hub from Lightchain to create our LLM. We need to pass our Hugging Face token and repo ID to this module. Moreover, we specify some optional input arguments. If you use a smaller value for the temperature, you get more deterministic or less random outputs. The last parameter specifies the maximum number of tokens in the generated output text. By running this code, our LLM is built. We are now ready to define a function to generate a story using the image caption. This function gets an input text or scenario and also an LLM. We here use Lightchain to interface with our LLM. We first define a prompt template. In this template, we instruct the LLM to generate a short story using the input scenario. We put the input scenario in curly brackets to define it as a dynamic input variable. We then use prompt template from Langchain to create our actual prompt using the defined template. We also specify the input scenario as our dynamic variable. This way, when we call our function, the input scenario is inserted in our prompt automatically. The next step is to create our LLM chain so that we can use our LLM for story generation. This can be done by passing our prompt and LLM to LLM chain. Finally, we can pass our input scenario to the predict function of our chain to generate our story. This story is then returned by this function. Let's now test this function. We here define a simple text as a scenario and call this function to get our story and print it. It may take a few seconds to get the result. Here are the results. As you can see, the LLM could generate a short story using this simple scenario. You can change the prompt template or the temperature value to generate more diverse results. We now define a function to convert our generated story to speech. For this purpose, we can use various text-to-speech models from Hugging Face. 
In this example, we use the TDS model from Facebook. You can find the repo ID of this model by searching it in the text-to-speech models and hugging face. A simple way to use model is to use it API. To get its API, simply click on deploy and choose the first item. Then check the show API token and copy the generated code. This code calls an URL and pass your hugging face access token into its header. After that, it sends your input text as a query to the URL along with the header. The model then generates a speech out of your text and sends back the audio content. You can then play the generated audio or save it to an audio file. To use this code, we simply paste it in our text-to-speech function and modify it a little bit to get our input text as a query and get the generated speech as its output. Remember to use your own hugging face access token, because the token used in this video will not be available by the time that you watch this video. Now let's run this code to get our text-to-speech function ready. Finally, we are ready to complete our storytelling project. We first specify the name or address of our input image. We then load the image and display it. After that, we pass our image to our image to text function to get a caption from it. This caption is used as scenario for our story. We then pass our scenario to the generate story function to get a story out of it. Finally, we pass the generated story to our text to speech function to convert it to a speech. The generated audio bytes are then played with audio module. You can also save them as an audio file. Now let's run the code and see the result. We first get our image caption. We then get our story. As we mentioned earlier, you can change the parameters of your LLM or your prompt template to get different results. A few seconds later, we get the result and we can play the speech. They had been friends since childhood and now they were all in college together. They had a lot of shared memories and often reminisced about the good old days. You can change the voice type or other parameters through the API. This was a short demo of how to use LangChain and Hugging Face in an application. Hope you liked it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.